Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm back up at Walgreens, had to get some more pictures printed. So the last time I had Ella's birthday invites that I printed, but this time it was for Father's Day. Um, so if you guys have been following me, you guys may recognize what I'm about to show you, but every Father's Day, ouch, since Ella has been born, and my battery's gonna die. Are you kidding me? I checked it before I left the house. Ugh. Every Father's Day after Ella was born, I have taken pictures of her. Hang on, Ella. So we're home. It's been stressful, but we're home. Um, so before I go in, cause it's kind of loud, um, I wanted to update you guys on the bathroom and show you guys the progress Tim did or got today. Um, not a whole ton of progress, but also quite a bit. Does that make sense? Because obviously tearing up the tile is a lot of work. Um, so, you guys can see the only tile left in here. Got it all out from underneath there, all here. The only tiles left around the toilet. That's it. Um, you know, there's like three, four, maybe five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten ish squares. But he left that so he didn't have to try and scrub the floor right there next to the toilet um, until after he got everything else unstuck. Um, because if you guys can see, it's nice and like clean looking here. Obviously, you can see the wood, but you can tell. Like this stuff just looks disgusting still, all of this stuff, because it's all still sticky. Um, but Tim made a pathway so that I can get in and go to the bathroom if needed. We're gonna have to replace some of the floorboards because apparently our toilet was leaking at one point or another. Don't know when. Um, but as of right now, okay, Tim got it unsticky all the way to here so I can comfortably sit down on the toilet without being stuck to the floor. That stuff there is all cleared, except for I think the very back wall I think is still sticky um, it's sticky here all the way down to just where that fan pretty much ends like this line here in the board that's where it's not or still sticky all the way over here though it's all completely clean this way like I said I can go to the bathroom without having to worry about sticking to the floor and wearing tennis shoes or some type of shoe and still end up sticking. So he cleaned that off before he had to go to work. Um, and that's another reason why I ended up going to Meadville today. Because obviously, like I said, he's using that mineral spirits and it's really strong and he has to use a respirator while using it. So we just wanted to get out of the house. Um, and okay, so <laughs> I saw this and Tim ended up buying me my first Milwaukee item. Um, technically his rotary tool that he bought himself, the Milwaukee rotary tool, I technically own that now. I use it more often than he does for resin projects, um, to sand them down and smooth them and make them look nice and clean. Um, but, okay, so we have the big stand fan in the bedroom. And at night, like, we obviously have it on Tim's side of the bed because I don't have a whole ton of room. So we have it on Tim's side of the bed. If I'm up on my side, I can feel it if he's on his back. But, seems like every time I roll onto my side, he rolls onto his side, thus blocking all of my air. So, this is a Milwaukee fan, and he's like, well, you don't want really to have to use a battery every night, because the battery can go in here, but it comes with the AC power adapter. Um, so that I can hook it up to an outlet and still be able to use it that way without having to use the battery. But if we also go like camping or on like an RV road trip type thing or you know what have you, we have a nice portable fan that we could run on batteries if needed. Um, and then he had me get him this Floor patch stuff, the fix a floor, I think it's called. Patch, patch and level is what it's called. Um, but it's a floor patch. Um, 
because he some of the tiles have stuck so good that the wood has come up with it so he's going to patch those before we put down the new flooring um and then he told me to also get two cans of spray paint so i did i got this ink blue color which i thought would be really good under my marine blue glitter that i have and then i got glow in the dark i've been wanting to get glow in the dark spray paint for so long but my home depot's always been sold out but where is it at there it is so now i've got two more cans of spray paint um this is the two times coverage this is satin it really doesn't matter what color you use it ends up turning glossy anyways and then just the green glow in the dark color which i'm super excited about this thing was like eleven dollars <laughs> um and then he had me pick him up a new scraper because this is what he's been using to get the tile up he's been putting it under and hammering it and his handles like all broke from hammering it so much so i got him a new one of those um i got some or a harry potter fat quarter which ella graciously opened up for me in the store so i got that and then i also got a jack skellington one and a football one um they didn't have this in the fat quarter so i just got it in the yard so i got that i got some sour cream for dinner tomorrow night um got some mod podge to put on the tumblers with the fabrics and ended up getting five of the equate one step pregnancy tests because i'm 7 dpo today i haven't tested thus, thus far and i'm hoping to wait until um 9 dpo or 10 dpo to test so wish me luck on that <laughs> um but show you guys the fought like shower faucet and the sink so like i told you guys we ended up ordering them from amazon and ended up getting the matching one so this is the one that's going to go on the bathroom sink um it's the delta shot spilled vesna um and that's what it looks like um and then this is the shower head so this can come off and be used as a handheld one or you could have it all up and i think this one's magnetized it's got the square handle and the shower or bathroom faucet it's got four different settings for spraying um integrated shower head and hand shower so like i said this one here can come off you can use it as a little hand shower um you know to to like hold over you and like go like that that's what i usually used to use but then I ended up switching to the main one, but it's still nice to be able to take that and I can just make sure I get all the extra soap off. Um, and then I was busy working for craft show stuff last night and got a ton of badger reels made. I got two, four, six, eight, ten badger reels made. It's all pretty much except for two that I had painted and ready to go. Here's another one. Um, and then all of these need painted. They are keychains, like the self-defense keychain type things. And then there's two of these badge reel pieces that need painted. Um, and then down in here, these are all of the keychains that I need to get put on hooks. And then you guys can see... I have all of these keychains that I have ready. Why does that one fall out? All of these ones that are ready, I have in little bags. Here are some other bags and some labels and stuff like that. So I'm just kind of craft show, or craft show prepping like hardcore. All of these are gonna end up getting put onto keychain rings before the show. So that's gonna be interesting. Um, things are just, all kinds of things are happening. Um, today I need to print out the Tumblr order forms, get those all organized and 
all kinds of other stuff that I gotta get done. So I'm gonna go get started on that and I'll catch you guys up in a bit.